Hello everybody, Joel on Grid here. So today's project we are going to work on putting up the fence that keeps our dog up on the deck while we are enjoying our fire table. So I had these parts stored in the shed over the winter. I've got some push rods that go into the ground or maybe you might call them stakes and I've got three panels. Uh, one of these push rods is a locking mechanism that latches uh, a panel to that rod so it makes the opening panel stationary and lockable. So now I'm going to go ahead and start placing these panels at the bottom of the stairway. I take the first panel and I have a rod there and I'm trying to find a place where the rod would have been last year. I had these installed last year once I get the the leash moved out of the way. Uh, I had these installed last year and I was hoping that the rod would fall right back into the same hole as when I do mow grass I'm able to pull these out relatively easily and weed whip up but um, I couldn't find the existing hole. The frost must have pushed it closed but as you can see it drives in very very easily. So this next piece is the rod that has the latching mechanism on it. So I need to be a little bit more fussy with this and I can't remember which way it went exactly so I'm kind of fumbling around a little bit and trying to figure out how this one went, lining it up with uh, the holes on the other side, seeing if I had it upside down, possibly the panel was upside down, but nope, everything was correct. I just needed to be able to line it up and the latching mechanism slides up and down on the rod. So as you'll see there, all I had to do was hold it in place where I had it a second ago and um, push that rod right through. So here we go, getting that rod pushed in through the latching mechanism. That's working out fine and it's an easy push once again. This is a heavy clay soil, but uh, when it's wet in the springtime like this, it's pretty easy to push in, but yet very firm. So this fence doesn't really go anywhere. So you can see that the latching mechanism slides up and down freely on that rod. So now this panel I'll use for the gate. I'll line this up with the, get that uh, leash out of the way. I'll line this up with the latch, make sure that it latches properly so the distance to the rod is correct for this panel. And once I feel like I've got this latch lined up, it's a little bit finicky when you're trying to hold something, but it feels like that rod is lined up over there at the latch, so I'll get this one pushed in. And you'll see that I forgot to put the other panel in. Uh, these rods, when you have mating panels, the rods, um, one rod will mate two together. So here I've got the latch and operating the gate, everything seems to function very nicely and then I get over to putting the last panel in and I realize that I put the the third rod in too soon so out comes the third rod and it's easy enough to put it back into place again doesn't take much effort to pull this out so once that rod comes out I'll just line this panel up um, the holes line up very easily on these panels. Uh, they actually do kind of web together a little bit. Uh, when you have very nice and straight ground it's very simple. But when it's a little bit uneven like I'm working with it's not quite as easy. But once those holes line up then that rod can go back in. Didn't seem to be lining up very well, so obviously I flipped it around there to see if I had the wrong end, um, but there is no wrong end really, but this end did seem to line up a little better, so the rod goes back in. I'll be able to just insert it back into that same hole, and that holds pretty well. Now you'll see that I notice when I take a look, I pick up the rod from the other side here. I noticed that there's quite a gap. This is really out of square. The gate ended up out of square. 
So I do a little fine tuning, a little adjusting, but the dog can't get through that little bit of a sliver. So I'm not terribly concerned about it. I just want to line it up a little bit better and friction holds this gate in very well. We actually don't use the latch very much, if at all. The dog can't open it with the friction that we have in our yard. So once I get this back together, it actually lines up a little bit better. As you can see, there's still a little bit of a gap at the bottom of the gate, but no worries. We'll be getting the grass lined up here. I have to spend some time this weekend on getting the grass fixed up in the first mow of the spring. So here I'm putting the final rod into place. You'll see that this just goes in very simply. These three panels are from the box store Menards we have very locally in town here relatively inexpensive you'll see there now the gate opens up and you can see the friction on the grass there's no issue with it at all so there it is from the low side you can see that we could have a little bit wider stairway but I'm not going to trim it down it fits just fine on the front one latch up on the top. It does hook in three places, so if you had a larger dog and were really worried about the dog pushing it open, you can surely line it up much better, take more time than I took. Like I said, we use the latch rarely. Very simple, very easy. Stores in the shed for the winter. And the inspector is out having a look at it. She approves. But thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, by all means, leave them below. And everybody have a great day. Thank you for watching.